when she was a, a baby, her mother was the bookkeeper for the plantation or Hamburg, Alabama, or the country store, because if you have lived in those small towns, you know they're sort of the same thing. And her mother was so busy keeping books that she really didn't have time to care for her daughter. And so, as was common for black belt families at the time, white black belt families, they would bring in an African-American woman to care for the children. And in the case of Mary Ward Brown, it was Joanna Jackson. Um, this is what Mary Ward Brown wrote about Joanna. If my mother <clears throat> ever sat and held me as a child, I don't remember it. But I do remember the solace of Mammy's lap. Though she was small, light-skinned, and far from the stereotype, her lap could spread and deepen to accommodate any wound. It smelled of gingham and a smoky cabin, and it rocked gently during my tears. It didn't spill me out with token consolation, but was there as long as it was needed. It was pure heart's ease. It is difficult to know the ways in which this white woman from this wealthy family who struck out on a course of being a writer tends to mediate race, lives within a, a world in which there are three really important parts of her career. Uh, the first part of it is writing about a specific place, the black belt, in such a way that it is not a specific place at all, but it is part of everybody's life you can imagine. The second thing you need to remember about her is that at the center of her life was race. Not so much so for Sylacauga, certainly not so much so for Anniston where I grew up, but the center of the black belt was the relationships of whites and blacks. And that re relationship was not at all what many journalists and historians think. It was extremely complex, extremely complicated. So complicated that a mother and father who are white basically turn over the education and imprinting of a daughter to an African-American woman. And this is a very important part of the third construction of her life, uh, which is not only the interracial relationships of her prose, but also the fact that she has to take what is the most parochial world, the world of the black belt, and turn this into prose which is the most universal part of the human experience. Um, Mary's Ward's uh, first book of short stories, uh, Tongues of Flame, which is the story Darty heard when she first read from it uh, at Auburn and came home and told me about this wonderful woman, uh, was very successful. It won the Penn Hemingway Prize, which is a prize for the best piece of American uh, nonfiction or fiction uh, by a new writer. It also won the um, Lillian Smith Prize, uh, which is another very famous literary award. It also won the Alabama Library Association Prize as the best book of the year. And all of a sudden, she's on her way. And there is just one story after another. 